what does it mean if you have a planet in the ascendant what are some of the secrets which unravel your personality when you have a particular planet in the ascendant in the lagna in the first house okay and when i'm speaking of the lagna i'm very careful i'm not speaking of the first house of the lagna chart wow then which chart am i talking of i'm talking of all the other divisional charts okay so therefore recently i made a video on our uh, secrets of your ascendant sign so in that i said that the sign in the ascendant is like a filter so anything which comes from any house will be filtered through that zodiac sign and if things are in harmony with that zodiac sign only then you can experience happiness from that particular house okay otherwise it could become a bit of a challenge all right so today we shall discuss uh what does it mean when you have a particular planet and now you can take any normal planet or you could also take lordships okay so for example suppose you have any planet but that planet is the lord of your 10th house so that planet is the lord of your 4th house 5th house so then what does uh, what does it mean all right so that's something we shall discuss today in short and as usual if you are new to the channel then uh, please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation from me regarding your career or marriage or health or planets in the ascendant you can always go to my website down below in the description section and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him even if you have saturn or rahu or ketu in the ascendant because these three are the most feared dreaded malefics in astrology and so now what is the ascendant ascendant is the lagna the rising sign as you know now when you say ascendant chart you mean the d1 chart but then uh, you have a ascendant in every divisional chart also okay so if you have the navamsha then that is the the first house of the navamsha is also the ascendant of the navamsha okay because many times when i say your navamsha lagna has mars or rahu jupiter then people say what navamsha and lagna are different right how do you say navamsha lagna so navamsha lagna means first house of the navamsha for the beginners Similarly, you have the Shamsha. So for there, that chart also you have a Lagna, right? Do not forget that. So now, what does it mean to have a planet in the ascendant? Planet in the ascendant uh, shows that which affects you the most uh, in the most peculiar way, or that pla that planet in the ascendant will show you which which is that planet or which is that house. Because if a planet is sitting in the ascendant. it's definitely going to rule one house at least sun and moon will rule one house and all the other planets will rule two houses of course okay. of course rahu ketu do not have lordships <coughs> so if there's a planet then that particular lordship which you have of that uh, planet or lordships that is something which uh, can affect you very strongly that can affect you in a positive way that can affect you in a negative way okay and you have to know how to blend the mixture of both the things actually so sometimes see you have to understand some planets are uh, very masculine they are you know forward going some planets are not very masculine they are very feminine so but these uh, masculine planets might rule uh, houses which are feminine in nature and the planets which are feminine might rule houses which are masculine in nature so then comes the fun you know what kind of results can you expect okay. so for example uh, if you have mars in the lagna any 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 lagna okay lagna of your d1 or d9 or d10 or anything then it can mean that mars affects you very strongly so whenever you see or experience martian traits you get motivated like anything so therefore you will see i have seen in my experience mars in the lagna especially of d1 chart uh, these people can be uh, too much motivated sometimes it's like uh, hyper motivated or <clears throat> or they can lack motivation in life why because then it's like saying mars is that fiery planet which likes everything very fast so if that is not there in their life then uh, they can feel very dry and depressed okay uh they may feel uh, they may feel that life's not worth uh pursuing this thing okay? life's not worth living so similarly if you have 
the lord of the 10th house in the lagna then then it can happen that unless you feel that you are making a big contribution to life you are impacting lives of other people you do not feel as if uh, you are doing something uh, interesting in life all right you may not feel that uh, you are becoming a complete human being so similarly it happens you know if the trinal lords are in lagna then uh you, you might feel that whatever you do in life should be a part of who you are okay so therefore it's very crucial that whenever you are doing some analysis or doing a consultation apart from all the thousands of factors that you consider you should always consider the planet which is sitting in the ascendant that's very crucial why because that is the planet so that planet will tell you to what extent will the entire horoscope matter to you which which placements in the horoscope are very crucial for you okay so for example if you have the lord of the second or seventh in the lagna in the ascendant then family marriage and venusian things because venus is the karaka for marriage these things affect you very much so in this case if a person has a mahadasha which indicates the Six thousand or the ten thousand, then this can literally put the person into depression. Why? Because now it's like saying this person values family and married life, but now the dasha is indicating the person will have to follow celibacy, or the person uh, won't be in a happy marriage. So now this same mahadasha can make the person's life very miserable. Now, if you take the opposite scenario, that if the sixth lord is in the lagna. and the person is running the mahadasha of the 6th house or the 10th house the person will not feel that uh, the, his his life is miserable the person will feel all right like usual the way it is <laughs> because the, these things like 6th house 10th house you no know, work and uh, all the daily routine work this might feel very normal okay and then the mahadasha is there and then this person can feel all right like the way it should be or life the way i want it to be so then therefore you will always see you know that uh, 6000 dasha or 10000 dasha is yani and sometimes the person is like all right life's fine and sometimes the person is like oh my god sir what will happen my married life is in shambles you know it's in ruins i'm going to be divorced please send me send me send me what will happen tell me is there some scope blah 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 oh my god or oh, i am forced to follow celibacy i can't find anybody it's bogging my mind i am losing my mind please tell me what will happen sir so now you know why that happens mm -hmm. and that therefore uh, you you should always uh, try to harmonize three things the ascendant ascendant means the sign in the ascendant the planets in the ascendant and the ascendant lord and when the ascendant lord is placed this is when it comes to the ascendant and the first house because that's very important because everything Uh, is related to the first house because the first house owns the horoscope when you say 10th house you mean 10th house from the lagna you could also say 10th house from the moon but generally when we say a person has moon in the 10th house we mean 10th from the lagna so lagna is the king he is the ruler he is the owner he is the proprietor of the horoscope he is like lord narayan <laughs> all right so therefore the planet in the ascendant is very crucial to decide the mahadashas that you are getting so you may think that okay i have this planet in the ascendant but then but then how do i know how will it behave so it's very simple you see the mahadashas and then you see so you are upcoming mahadashas so so for example if you are 20 25 or 30 then you will have at least you know two or three mahadashas that will consume the uh, most uh, phases of your life around 30 years or 40 years till the time you are 70 or 80 so depending on which dasha you are running of course currently so then you have to see um you have to see these dasha planets and the houses which these dasha lords indicate or these placements and then you have to check is the planet in the ascendant harmonizing with these mahadashas if the harmony is there then what happens you are able to go through these mahadashas very easily even if they are difficult but if they are opposing then even if there are good things you will still be unhappy so for example if you uh, have the seventh lord in the lagna and 
if you have a dasha which is indicating the 6th and the 10th you may get a promotion but you will be miserable inside you know why because that might uh, ruin your marriage that might end your marriage okay you might uh, have separation during that time if it's very strongly indicated and if it is in a malefic you might have a divorce okay like saturn rahu ketu other planets won't allow divorce but these three may allow divorce uh, so then we will be thinking you as an astrologer will give a prediction that oh this time will be brilliant for your career okay the 10th house is indicated you know the 6th house is indicated just super you will rise high you will shine in life and then the mother just starts and this person calls you and says sir i am in depression and you are like why <laughs> how in the universe can you be in depression you may then the person will say no but whatever you said is true but the only problem is i am not happy why because the that thing which affects him the most which is you know marriage or family seventh house second house is uh it's contrary to and the mahadasha is contrary to what affects him the most so it's like saying he is getting promotion he is getting some nice job offers but that doesn't affect him it's like saying that doesn't make an impact in his life that does not give him a feeling as if uh, it is worth living for that okay so therefore what happens is he ends up feeling that whatever i get in life during this period is not valuable so therefore you will see many people they will get so many things during their mahadashas antardashas but they don't value them and then you you are you 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 will think that oh my god you have this i wish i had this all right did you ever feel like this that when you have your friend or relative or family member or any other stranger or even some uh, famous personality you see them having this much oh look how much money this person has oh, what a nice spouse this person has you know what a beautiful relationship you know what a beautiful car what a beautiful house how beautiful their children are i wish i had this thing i wish my life was also similar in this area of life and then you talk to this person oh you know you are so lucky and so fortunate and this person is like okay uh, <laughs> so now you understand why it happens because what that person has uh, maybe that thing is related to your ascendant or the planet sitting in the ascendant okay uh, but the mahadashas which that person is running now may not be something which is linked to the planet in the ascendant for that person now of course uh, many of you will ask but sir i do not have a planet in my ascendant what will happen all right so in that case you have to check which planets are aspecting your ascendant so if you have jupiter in 579 it will aspect the ascendant uh, if you have like um, sun moon mercury venus in the 7th they will also aspect the ascendant and if you have you now mars in the 10th it will aspect the ascendant mars in the 6th aspects the ascendant mars in the 7th will also aspect the ascendant okay saturn in the 11th will aspect saturn in the 4th will aspect saturn in the 7th will also aspect the ascendant now you will say that oh sir but you know i don't have any planets in the ascendant i also have um, no aspects in the ascendant well that cannot happen because every planet aspects every house all right so you have to find out uh, the, the amount of aspects so these aspects which you have jupiter aspects the 5th 7th and 9th that is like a full aspect which means the full effect is there okay Uh, full means not like literally hundred percent, but you could understand that these are the prominent aspects. But uh, that you have to find out using softwares, and uh, you, you have to see how much degree wise, how much percentage is the aspect. Okay, because as I said, every planet will aspect every other house. So you have to find out which is that damn planet, <laughs> which is that special planet, which is contributing to my ascendant. Okay, and then you will know. that all right my planet uh, this particular planet impacts me okay seventh lord is contributing much by aspect to my ascendant that means seventh lord is something which is very crucial so i must make sure that i sustain my marriage right this is just an outlook for you to do research and i am interested to know what planets do you have in the ascendant and how do you feel about them all right thank you very much for your patience and if you want to watch other videos on the ascendant i'll put them here somewhere down up <laughs> and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation from me regarding your ascendant 
there and please go to my website down below in the description section right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him irrespective of your ascendant or ascendant planets or ascendant lord right